Today's PortSwigger tutorial is entitled JSON Web Token Authentication Bypass via JSON Web Key Header Injection. In the previous lab, we talked about using a symmetric key to sign JSON Web Tokens. This time, the application uses an asymmetric key pair. This means that we have two keys, a private key, with which the server signs the token, and a public key that can be used to verify the signature. The server for this lab supports the JSON Web Key parameter in the JSON Web Token header. A JSON Web Key is a standardized format for representing keys as a JSON object. You can see an example of a JSON Web Key parameter in this JSON Web Token. This is sometimes used to embed the correct verification key directly in the token. Normally, servers only use a whitelist of public keys to verify JSON Web Token signatures. However, this lab's server is misconfigured and trusts any key that's embedded into the JSON Web Key parameter. To solve the lab, we have to modify and sign a JSON Web Token to gain access to the admin panel and delete the user Carlos. As with the previous labs, we are going to be using Burp's JWT Editor extension, so make sure to install it. First, let's access the lab and log in with the provided credentials Winner Peter. Let's also try accessing the admin panel located at slash admin. The admin interface is only available if logged in as an administrator. Back in Burp, go to proxy HTTP history. The JWT editor extension has highlighted the requests containing a JSON web token. Select the get my account request and send it to repeater. In repeater, go to the JSON web token tab. Observe that the algorithm used to sign the JSON Web Token is RS-256. This means that the signature is generated by hashing the header and payload by using SHA-256, and then they are encrypted with a private key and the RSA encryption technique. Because the server trusts any key embedded into the JSON Web Key parameter, we can just create a new RSA private key, then embed the matching public key in the JSON Web Key header. To generate a new RSA key, go to JWT Editor and click the New RSA Key button. In the window that pops up, click Generate and then OK. The key has been created. Go back to Repeater. When we send the request, we see that we are logged in as winner. Now let's change the signature. Click the Attack button at the bottom of the screen and select Embedded JWK to add the previously created RSA key to the header of the token. Select the previously created RSA key and click OK. Send the request again. Observe that we are still logged in as winner, which means that the server has accepted our signature. All that's left to do now is to try logging in as the administrator. For this, we need to modify the payload of the JSON Web Token by changing the subject of the token from winner to administrator. Embed the previously created RSA key in the JSON Web Token again, so click Attack embedded JWT OK. Before sending the request, go back to the Raw tab and make sure to change the value of the ID query parameter to administrator. Send the request. We are logged in as the administrator. Observe that we now have access to the admin panel. Change the request line to get admin to navigate to the admin panel. Send the request we see a link to delete the user Carlos. Go to the Delete Username Carlos page by adding the path to the request line. Send the request. We get a 302 found response. If we go back to the admin page, we can see the message User Deleted Successfully. Also observe that the Delete Username Carlos path is no more. Back in the browser, we also see that the lab has been solved. This is it for today's tutorial. See you in the next one. Bye!